Hi, my name is John Holloway, a Senior Building Surveyor with Domestic Surveys. On the following video you will see us uh, undertaking a sample of some Artex in a property because we know it was uh, applied pre-2000. Um, obviously whenever anyone mentions the A word asbestos people tend to panic. We'd like to just say that there's three different sorts mainly that people refer to. You probably heard it called blue, brown and white before. The blue and the brown are amphibol fibres, so they're nasty little harpoons. Uh, those are the most dangerous and those got banned in 1985 for use. Then you've got the white asbestos, uh, chrysotile. That was banned from use in two, uh, 1999, but we've said 2000 in the video because sometimes it was still used at around this time. Uh, please enjoy the following video, which actually shows us doing the scrape samples and the certificate issued at the end. Okay, so we can see here there's been quite a serious water penetration issue along the far party wall of the property. Uh, this is a pretty poorly done loft conversion we've got here. We've got two different sorts of um, Artex, which is, can sometimes be an asbestos containing material if put up pre-2000. We've got quite a light stipple here and a much heavier stipple down here. So we will actually be looking to test both of these substrates as a result. And we'll be looking to take composite samples where we'll be taking scrapings from more than one area. Okay, so first of all, we moisten the surface where we're going to be taking our sample from. We can use a spray can for this and do sometimes. And we're going to do it in two separate areas. You know, it's a small area of ceiling, it makes sense to do this. So once we've dampened the areas down slightly, we will then proceed to clean our tools. So with a separate wet wipe, we'll be cleaning the chisel, which is a sharp chisel with a plastic handle, so we've got no cross-contamination. We've got a new mask that we'll be using for this one, and we pre-label our bags as so. As you can see, we've now taken the scraping from three separate places of this small three square metre ceiling. Uh, we're now going to look to seal up the holes that we've made to ensure that no fibres are actually being released. We are wearing a mask, but you just can't see us, obviously. And to do this, we're using a paint tester pot uh, with a sponge tip on it so we can actually seal it off properly and ensure that no one else is going to be damaged as a result of our testing when we are actually potentially releasing friable materials as a result. So these are the various holes that we've made and we're just sealing them back up now, just to ensure that nobody else is gonna cause any problems. 